what do you mean by p value less than 0.05 or 5%? This is one of the frequently asked questions in data science interview. This falls under statistics category. Hypothesis testing is a topic. When you want to prove or disprove a phenomena, we first establish null hypothesis. We call it as H0 null hypothesis. And the p-value, so once we establish the null hypothesis in quantitative research, we collect the data and we do what we call it as hypothesis testing, for example, t-test. The result of the t-test will give you a p-value or otherwise probability value, probability value. If the probability value, for example, is 10%, this means our null hypothesis, whatever we established the statement, null hypothesis is 10% true or it is 10% probable. Let's take an example to understand this. Let's say um, I want to do, um, I want to, to, to prove a statement uh, that the marriage age in a, in the city of San Francisco is 35. All right. Um, so to, 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 to do this experiment, we need to collect the data, random sampling, of course. So let's say we, are, uh, we, we send a survey to many people. Uh, here we just had few, have few, but essentially we need to have uh, at least a few hundreds to thousand uh, data for this. For example, I've taken few random uh, marriage ages from various different people, random sampled. And um, I'm establishing the null hypothesis here, saying the marriage age in the city of San Francisco is 35. So that's my null hypothesis. Then with this data, I'm going to um, use a package um, from Skippy, SkyPy stats package. Um, and I'm using one sample t-test because we have one sample. t-test is a simple test runs by a formula. Um, so when you run it, it will give you p-value. It's same as what we have discussed, probability value in here. So in this case, it says the p-value is 0.031 or 3.1%. This means that the statement that marriage age in the city of San Francisco is 35 is only 3.1% true, which is very low. That is, our null hypothesis is wrong. Generalizing it, if the p-value is less than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis. And we accept the alternate hypothesis, which is, of course, the opposite of uh, null hypothesis, saying that the marriage age in the city of San Francisco is not 35. In our case, with the data we have, we can confidently reject. And um, when you say confidently, how confident you are? We are more than 95% confident. So this study can be called as 95% confidence interval study. All right. So um, yeah. So in generalizing it in 95% confidence interval study, if the p-value is less than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So um, this is this value is actually belonging to confidence interval. confidence interval or simply CI is equal to 95% means that the outcome of this study we are 95% confident we also have other kinds of study let's say if you are talking about more critical researches for example vaccines or even food right food is it safe or not usually we go with confidence interval 99% in those case we need to have a p-value less than 1% or uh, 0.01 right so the confidence interval in general most of the cases is 95 so this is kind of pretty common to see um, that p-value less than five percent means that we can reject null hypothesis so simply put p-value less than five percent or 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis means that we are 
our research becomes significant. We can strongly say that null hypothesis is wrong. But in case it happens that p-value is greater than 0 0.05, then we say that we fail to reject null hypothesis. Essentially, we don't have a strong statement to make here. So we aim to reject the null hypothesis. Thereby, we can strongly say with 95% confidence interval that null hypothesis is wrong and we can accept the alternate hypothesis.